Some people say to me, Oi! You! Get out of my garden! But other people say to me, Lloyd, why didn't they use such and such a thing in battle? Why wasn't this weapon more popular? I, you know, I've given this some thought. I think they should have been using these. And one thing that comes up is nets. I was asked about it again recently. And so I'm going to talk about why they didn't use nets in battle. Now, of course, nets did exist. You're probably familiar with the Retiarius, the fisherman gladiator. And yes, these existed. They were quite considered quite a low status uh, gladiator. They, didn't, uh, they weren't expected to win all that many fights, but it was entertain them, entertaining to watch them try. And uh, let's not forget, everyone, that that wasn't a death sentence because most gladiators were volunteers and most of them, in most fights, did not die. Uh, gladiators were very expensive to train and you didn't want your stable of gladiators dying all the flipping time. That would be really expensive. So uh, most of the time they didn't die. Anyway, a uh, bit of a side, uh, side point that. So the Retiaris, yes, he did have a net, but he was on the sand. Uh, the Roman word for sand is arena. And so you, you could say he was on the arena rather than in the arena, but because of the meaning in modern English, I suppose both are acceptable. Anyway, he was on the sand, dueling, usually, with his uh, net in one hand and his trident in the other. Or possibly trident in hand and net in that side. You know, he, he, it's up to him which way around he does it. Now, you may think that a net can be made quite effective because it can be weighted, it can be quite large, and you can put hooks on it and so forth. So in a battle, could you imagine loads and loads of people casting nets onto the front ranks of the enemy, and they'd have these nets flying over them, they'd come over their spears and shields, and there'd be hooks digging into their flesh, and they'd be going, oh, ouch, oh, really, ouch, and as they try to get out, they'd be struggling, and then the enemy would be on them, and there'd be chaos and, and, and mutilation and, and death and so forth, and ultimate shame and defeat. So why didn't people do this? Why didn't they cast nets over their enemies in battle? Well, let's think about this a little bit more. So imagine you've got an infantry formation there. They've got the standard weapon, which is spear and shield. OK, so you've got a net. Well, a small net isn't going to, isn't going to do it. Is it. If you have a net that sort of big, big enough for a small fish or whatever, you can go, ha ha. That's just going to hit the front of your shield, drop on the ground and embarrass everyone. So um, you need a big net. It's got to engulf a man, his eight foot spear, shield, and, and maybe if they're standing quite close together, maybe it's got to get around the, the two guys next to him as well. And it's really got to get right over them and, and the weights have got to fly out. This net has got to be cast broadly like that and it's got to be open in the air. So you're going to need to really swing it around this big net and cast it, aren't you? So you're going to need a lot of room around you to do that. You can't just go, ha ha, like that. That's not going to work. You have to swing it round and cast this net. But you can't do it from very far. The range of such a, a large net, you won't be, be able to throw it more than a few yards. So you're going to be well within javelin range, aren't you? And you can't wield a large shield or anything whilst you're doing this. It's a big net and you can't be in a dense formation because you need loads of room around you to, to, to swing this net. And so if you have a load of net casters, they're going to be spaced really quite far apart and they're going to be hugely outnumbered by the guys in front of them. So you cast your net and as you're swinging it around and casting it or even advancing to get into position to do so, they could just throw a javelin at you and then you'd be in trouble, wouldn't you? Or even a guy might just run forward out of line and lunge with a really long spear and get you before you could cast the net. And that would be embarrassing too, wouldn't it? Um, but let's imagine that doesn't happen and you do actually manage to cast the net. Well, think, if he's got a spear, he could just swat the net out of the air and he's got other guys next to him who are likely to be doing the same thing. In fact, as you cast the net, because you're so spaced out and the enemy's in a dense formation, there might be five guys all in a position to just knock that net out of the air with a spear. Oh dear. But wait a minute, let's imagine for some reason they don't manage that. They all try and fail and the net does go over them and does engulf them and they're all going, oh, I've got a net, oh, by crikey, how do I get out of this? Well, almost no ancient formation was one rank deep. It's going to be at least four ranks, quite often eight ranks deep. And so whilst the front rank is just all oh, struggle, 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 all they actually have to do is just kneel down and uh, let the guys behind them, replace them, and whilst they're sorting themselves out behind, you've now got a new front line, which is now in a position to charge a load of unarmed guys with no shields and no nets. And what are you going to do? Uh, I, I strongly recommend running away, by the way, at that point. Um, so as soon as you've cast the net, what you've got to do is then capitalise. You've got to, whilst they're still struggling, you've got to charge in immediately, but with what? There are only a few of you and you're quite widely spaced. Yes, you could be thrown out in front of another unit, but that's got to be a little bit behind. 
and there's going to be a delay and are you really going to be want to be one of those netcasters because what do you think your chances of survival are as a netcaster I, I mean you know personally i'd like to have a big shield and a spear and lots of guys next to me i'd feel much much safer thanks um so by use using infantry against other infantry like that is possibly just not the most effective weapon and by and large you want to give people the most effective weapons but but you could use them for capturing people. Surely, what if you had what if you had horsemen with nets? You could gallop after people, and you could you could cast a net over one of them as, as he's running away, and it would tangle him up and capture him. And, and captives are good, right? Yeah, but is that what your officer wants you to be doing? You see, if you've got a spear, you can go gallop, 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 stab, gallop, 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 stab, gallop, 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 gallop stab, and keep going. And uh, you're going to down loads of the enemy and you can keep going and then maybe the enemy realizing that he's surrounded by cavalry because you've caught him up and you've run run around him uh you take a thousand prisoners they just throw it down like okay okay fair enough and you get a thousand prisoners that's great isn't it but if you've got a net which is pretty or big awkward thing to have on your uh horse when it's not being used but then you've, you've got it there you know for the route when the, 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 there's the opportunity to capture a straggler a prisoner so you then get your net out it's not going to be easy to, to cast a net from a moving horse but let's imagine that you work out a way of doing this and you then cast accurately your net onto one of the stragglers and he goes down thump. right you're on a horse he's on the ground he's going to get out of that net i mean it's, it's, not, it's not he's not sealed in it it doesn't tie itself up in knots it's, a, it's only made out of, of ropes and so forth he's probably got a, a, a knife or a sword or something sharp on him he'll be able to cut his way out if he can't get out by some other means you're going to have to get right on that guy really really quickly so you're probably going to have to dismount okay in the middle of a battle uh okay you've got to hold your horse with one hand and say right you you're you're my prisoner stop it just, just stop struggling and, and he's quite dangerous he's a terrified man and he's got weapons and he'd much rather be somewhere else and so he's a dangerous thing he's going to take quite a bit of dealing with in fact you're probably going to need help so you flag down a couple of your mates and be between two or three of you you're able to capture this guy in a net and so you and two other guys have now come to a halt and what have you got you've got one personal prisoner but your officers commanding the army they'd much rather that you didn't stop three guys in order to capture one uh, uh, opposition guy you want them chasing those routers en masse and downing loads of the stragglers and perhaps capturing the whole lot in one big go and keeping them routing that's the job you're supposed to be doing not stopping in ones and twos and uh, getting a few uh, bagging a few stragglers for yourselves um so equipping your cavalry with nets is not actually uh, very helpful for the the job of winning the battle and taking mass prisoners and equipping your infantry uh, probably isn't terribly effective either so yes in the arena or on the arena it's an entertaining match to see a retiarius versus a secutor or myrmidon or whatever he's up against but in a battle no not really although this hasn't stopped a number of video games and and uh, other representations of, of the past showing uh, units of gladiators actually equipped as gladiators in their showbiz costumes uh in the field no uh, even even spartacus and his lot when they were in revolt uh, generally didn't dress as as uh, gladiators perhaps right at the very start if some of them had grabbed some of the gladiatorial kit they might have been equipped that way but it's not the most practical stuff in battle and as soon as they had defeated a load of roman legionaries they nicked the roman legionaries kit and equipped themselves in military kit for actual battle uh, gladiators in the arena that's for entertainment it's not really for battle Thank <laughs> you.